everyone. Welcome to another episode of 5 Things to Do. Now, a few weeks back, I traveled to one of my favorite cities around the world, and it's one of the biggest cities around the world. It's none other than Shanghai. Now, Shanghai has a lot to do, undoubtedly, but one of the few questions that I ask myself every time I'm in Shanghai is what can I do there? It's not because they have less to do, it's just because they have so, so much to do. Uh, but with a heavy heart, I found myself in things that I personally love a lot and without further ado I'm going to show you five amazing great things that you can do in the Paris of the East. I wanted to start off today's episode with a lot of energy and when it comes to energy, boisterousness, craziness or cultural diversity, uh, nothing beats this place in Shanghai. This is almost like the hotspot of Shanghai where people from all over the world just come here and uh, enjoy all the different lights. You name all the fashion brands, you name all the great food chains, you've got it all over here. So let me take you to a tour of this amazing place, it's also the Times Square of Shanghai. So right now I'm walking through the alleys of Shenkiandi, or also known as the French Concession. Uh, it was built after the Opium War and... and this time I really forgot. <laughs> so right now I'm walking through the alleys uh, in Shenkiandi, or also known as the French Concession. It was built after uh, the uh, Opium War and if you're into European structures, this place is very similar to Europe with a lot of restaurants that serves European dishes and a lot of coffee shops. If you want to get to this place, you better take uh, Metro Line 1 and come to South Wangkulu. What do you think about the food? The food is so nice bro. Thanks for the recommendation man. I like it. Thanks man. Yeah. Okay, so I got my fried dumplings here and it probably has cuttlefish inside. I'm gonna give you a few of it. What do you think about your ones? That's shrimp. <laughs> no cuttlefish. Oh that's inside. shrimp? Oh sorry. That's 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 shrimp. This is how I like eating it. I'll just probably take one of these chopsticks, pop it up. And then you hold it, get some spices here. 
This is probably not the right way, but it works for me. Spice in it. Oh. Look at all the shrimp inside. Oh. Shrimp, 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 not cuttlefish. Oh. So China is a land of desserts, and uh, you have so many varieties so here. Let me just show you some of it. How do you like that? Love it. Bro, you don't look happy with yours. <laughs> You're just trying to put up a smile. <laughs> bro, okay. It's, just, it's okay. It's okay. It's not sweet enough. Okay, and that's mine. So if you want to come here, it's pretty simple. Just take the subway and come to Chibao Station on Line 9. Um, uh, this place is a good news because it doesn't cost any ticket. So it's totally free and you can just visit every place here without costing you anything. We are heading to right now with my friend Sylvia here. Hey Sylvia. Uh, it's a place that's very popular in Shanghai. And probably one of the most photographed places here. Uh, it's called the Bund. So I don't really want to say a lot about this place. Just enjoy the view. <laughs> 